Dear students, in this section, we are going to discuss about food composition. Foods are basically a complex matrix of different nutrients, and every food is different in terms of composition. But the general composition overall in foods is about, uh, it includes carbohydrates, proteins, fats, minerals, vitamins, water, and fiber. It would mean that different food like sugars would have only one nutrient in them, whereas there are certain other foods like milk, it would have all these uh, elements of uh, food chemistry, food composition, which are all there in all these, uh, these foods. Uh, so we'll discuss briefly about all these uh, nutrients one by one in this introductory slide, and then afterwards, uh, in the next lecture, we'll discuss about the detail about uh, all these elements in food and where they are present in the food. So starting with the carbohydrates, they are the element of food which provides most of the energy in Pakistani diet, like 65% to 80% of our daily energy comes from the carbohydrates. If you look at the basic unit of carbohydrates, they are called as monosaccharides because they are simple sugars that cannot be broken down further into simpler elements. Most commonly, glucose, mannose, galactose, or fructose. So as you know, these are all the uh, simple sugars which are used for the sweetening purposes. And these monosaccharides, sometimes they can join together to make disaccharides. For example, two glucose molecules, when they react with each other, they produced a disaccharide called maltose, and during this process, it produces one molecule of water. These two units are called as disaccharides. So there are examples like sucrose is also an example where glucose and fructose molecules are joined together to make sucrose. These sugars also are also very important uh, in the human nutrition, and they provide a lot of different functions. It is also possible to have multiple units of these monosaccharides joined together, like in case of polysaccharides, if there are more than 10 uh, monosaccharides joined together, they make up um, a class of chemicals called polysaccharides. These polysaccharides generally in nature would have hundreds of thousands of different units attached together to make certain compounds. Uh, fibers is another element of food that is basically carbohydrate in nature, uh, but they are indigestible part of carbohydrates. They cannot be digested by um, humans, uh, and it cannot act as a source of energy. These are classified as water-soluble fibers as well as water-insoluble fibers. So water-insoluble fibers are normally uh, wheat-based products. Uh, it also includes wheat bran. Whereas uh, water um, soluble fibers are uh, certain other cereals that have soluble fibers in it, and pectin is also an example of a water soluble fibers. They also play a very important role uh, in human nutrition. Uh, the next component of food in the food composition, and a very important component, is fats and oil. They are called as lipids as well. Uh, lipids generally are soluble in uh, different solvents like hexane or ether, and they are all insoluble in water. This is a common characteristic of all the lipids, uh, and most of them are derived from the fatty acids. If you look at the chemical structure of uh, uh, these triglycerides, it is basically um, made up of a glycerol molecule, and it uh, attaches uh, different fatty acids. The different fatty acids mean one, two, or three. There are three positions, so three fatty acids can be attached. So when there are three fatty acids attached to this glycerol molecule, uh, it is called as a triglyceride. So most of your lipids are basically a combination of different triglycerides where different uh, types of fatty acids are attached to one triglyceride, and there's a combination of all these triglycerides. Uh, so if you look at the commercial examples of these uh, lipids, they can be uh, vegetable oil that are derived from plants like sunflower oil, cotton oil, palm oil. Uh, similarly, these lipids also come from uh, animal fats like butter, mar butter and cream. Uh, ghee is also an example. Uh, 
uh, and commercially available manufactured fat like banaspati ghee and margarines are also examples of lipids. Our next element is protein. Protein, as you know, are very important for all the cellular structures and muscular structures. Uh, they are uh, different from carbohydrates and fats in the way that they have 16% more nitrogen in them, which is not present in fats and uh, carbohydrates, but they are only present in case of proteins. Other than nitrogen, proteins also contain certain other minerals like phosphorus, iron, and there may be some other minerals as well. If you look at the structure of uh, amino acid, amino acid is basically the building block of all these uh, proteins. Uh, the amino acids have uh, a carboxylic group and an amino uh, group that is always present in all the amino acids. The only difference in different amino acids is the R group. So whenever there's a change in the R group, there's a new uh, amino acid. So in nature, there are more than 23 amino acids present in plants and animals. So any change in this composition of this R group would mean a different amino acids. This is our next element, water. You all know that water is very important for human survival, otherwise you would get dehydrated. So, as much as our body's functions, it is very important for water. And this is a very important element in food composition. Uh, uh, minerals, coming to minerals, there are 14 different kind of minerals. Um, we call some trace elements, we need more amount of minerals like calcium, hai, potassium, hai, uh, chlorine, hai, magnesium. Hai. We need higher amount of these uh, minerals in our body, whereas the trace elements like uh, iron, copper, zinc, cobalt and fluorine, we need a little amount of uh, body processes to regulate our body but they are equally important and there are many functions that the body can perform. Our last uh, element of food composition is uh, vitamins. As you know, vitamins are also very essential. If in our nutrition, there are elements present hai, like carbohydrates, fats, but if we don't take vitamins, their absorption and their functioning will be disturbed. It would mean that vitamins are important to uh, help the digestion and assimilation of other elements as well as the regulation of body processes. Uh, if these body processes are regulated, it really, results in different diseases. So vitamins jai, they can be classified in two groups. One is water-soluble um, vitamins and one is fat-soluble vitamins. In fat-soluble vitamins, mein vitamin A, D, E or K are um, in the same water-soluble compounds. In water-soluble vitamins, we have uh, vitamin B, which has many variables, and uh, vitamin C. Uh, we have uh, water-soluble and fat-soluble vitamins. Dono ke